I'd like to introduce Miles Kessler from the Integral Dojo. He's also putting together an electronic university, so I invite you to check out his work as well as hope that you enjoy our time with him here. Miles, thanks for being with us. It's one boundary and another boundary bumping into each other, having conflicting agendas and working it out. And the principles of Aikido are the only way, I'm not saying that it has to be Aikido, but the, the principles, which are in many things, the principles are the only way that we can actually work out and deal with our conflicting agendas in, in a way where we actually come together into a greater sense of unity. I notice many times kind of a preference to avoid conflict in the sense that, no, we're practicing the path of harmony. We have to be love, peace, and harmony. Aikido is an art of peace which on one level, I think it's a cool translation. Another level, I think it's actually a mistake because I think peace is a byproduct of what we're doing. It's not the path of what we're doing. I think we're actually walking the path of conflict, meaning that when, when one boundary rubs up against another boundary, we work it out. We don't back off. Chris was saying, you know, Sensei's interview, someone said, well, is there a method? And he said, yes, there's a method. He said, can anyone do it? He said, yes, anyone can do it. He said, but then the interviewer didn't ask, what's the method? I'm asking you. <laughs> How do we get there? What do we do? What can we do in the way that we practice Nikyo, or in addition to or besides practicing Nikyo? What's important to you that, that you could help other people experience sitting here yeah. talking? I know it's well, Okay, so I'll, I'll try to reduce it to as few words as possible so I can get essential. But, but Aikido is a, path, it, it is a higher path of, of spiritual development. You know? And the first step on any path of spiritual development is the first path, the first step on, on the path of Aikido as a higher spiritual development is, is a step of, of self-awareness. And that's simply getting, bringing your attention in, feeling the body, feeling the breath, feeling the center, feeling the senses, paying attention to what's going on in the mind. Centering yourself in your own awareness is the first step, and it's the foundation practice of all further evolutionary practices in Aikido. So that's the first thing that has to happen. And while we're doing that, we learn how to integrate it through all this kind of technical training that we do. And we learn how to do it while we're in intense relationship with another person, which is almost impossible because it's the antithesis of our biological conditioning. Another person, the moment they touch me, all my bells and whistles go off, and either I want to kill them, I want to run away from them, or... So that's it, that's, that's our bio biological conditioning, and it's, it's uh, hundreds of thousands of years of conditioning, and only self-awareness will overcome that conditioning, and that's the first step. So we move from self-awareness, it's, it's your three steps, uh, um, uh, Richard. We move from self-awareness into connection and intuitive awareness for the other person, and when me as an awake and aware individual connects up with you as an awake and aware individual, we start to create an awake and aware system. And that's where it really, that's the best, that's the jazz. That's where it really is. And it's a shame if people don't get there. It really is. But when, when you're like in your, you get your total Zen on and you connect with me and I've got my total Zen on and we connect up in this like this creative flow, it's, it's dimensionality. And that's really what it's about. That's like, you know, that's the gift of Aikido and, you know, in, in the world of conflict. And it's so awesome. And I guess on a global scale, it's, it's still very rare. Do it live, you know, between two people. That's amazing. But when we start awakening cultures, and I think every dojo should be a little hub, a microcosm of an ideal, a, a, an ideal of an awakened society. But that transmission is, is really, really important. And just look at Osensei. Jesus, he, 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 what was he, like 20? I don't know how many years, 25 years he was, he was teaching Aikido. Here we are 60 years later, 70 years later, and it's there, man. The ripples are happening and we're still doing it. That's a, that's a massive transmission, you know, and that's something that it's our duty to do the same. That's a massive transmission, you know, and that's something that it's our duty to do the same.